I suppose more than anything, I would just want people to know that this really works. Because I know sometimes people have a question about that when they give us funding. Does it, does it really reach the child? You know, it does. Why are you all you laughing? She's <laughs> <laughs> still talking. I feel like an old man. I was young when he started. Whenever a story starts like this, two brothers walk into a bar, it usually doesn't end well. But this story's different. Magnus McFarlane Barrow walked into a bar with his brother. While having a drink, they talked about the heart-wrenching images from the Bosnian War they'd just seen on TV. And so they made an extraordinary decision most of us don't make. They decided to help and drove a truck filled with supplies to Bosnia 23 times. That amazing act of kindness led to his life's work. One simple decision and millions of starving children have been fed. I hadn't realized until they mentioned the name who I'd be presenting. I thought, this is an organization that my mother has been telling me about. My name is Margaret Cole, and I am the mother of Gerard Butler, who is my baby, some baby. She talked about him for years. It actually wasn't years. Gerard, Mary's Meals are such a wonderful organisation. Gerard does tend to exaggerate at times, you know. Oh, I wish you'd get involved. He will say that he got that from me. And I'm proud he's a fellow Scotsman, Magnus McFarlane Barrow. Before I went on, they said there will be about 16 million people watching this live, as if it wasn't bad enough with all those famous people in the audience. Thank you very much. It's, um, I was very, very nervous. <laughs> that was one of the few very scary moments in my life. Every child in the world should be able to receive at least one good meal every day in the place of education. I was actually a little bit starstruck when I met Magnus. I'm like, dude, you're amazing. He said, oh, I'd love to come and visit a Mary's Meals project. You know, where should we go? Immediately, I thought, Liberia. It was a very busy period in my life. Part of me was thinking, oh God, I've got to go to Nibiria and do this, and I don't like interviews. And then as I was coming here, I had kind of an epiphany. I am in such a fortunate position to be able to help. I really wanted Jerry to come to Liberia because there's a huge need here. Less than half of the children in this country attend school at all. We're passing little kids going to school and they're all Mary's Meal School, yeah, where, where the feeding program is going on. When we arrived, three kids walked up to the car and they just took my hand. The most beautiful children I'd ever seen, gentle and quiet and just smiling. And I walked into the village. That was the start of the most incredible day where we ended up all on a train, dancing. We come into this village. They have dancers on stilts, covered in straw. And then the kids have all written up signs. And they've written a Mary's Meal song. The whole school is lined. The patch of a rooster is a sign of being welcomed as a brother. Oh, what the hell do I do with the rooster now? They were like, look, let's take it and eat it. I'm like, you cannot cook my roosters. I don't want them to die. It's okay. Run free. And there you go. You must go with your brother. He really wanted to come and see Mary's Meals to get a deeper understanding of how it works. This feeds 350 children every day, all served from here. It's never been about us coming in from outside and thinking we know the answer. It's a locally owned solution. I know I'm going to cut my finger off. A funny thing happened in Liberia. <laughs> Mary's Mills will provide the food, but the community has to start the garden. These are pepper plants. Yes. What else do you grow here on your farm? My mum would be very proud of me right now. She's always asking me to do the gardening. Around the world as much as possible, we want to use locally grown food. We want to support the local economy, support farmers. And you serve all this in the school, yeah? Yes. We build the kitchen, they provide the volunteers. So the mothers come in and they cook the food and it lends that helping hand and, <laughs> and taps into that innate Red ability oil. that people here have. Sunday boy Mason. Yeah. Mm. Hi, Jerry. Sunday boy. 
Magnus. We met this great kid called Sunday Boy. So you're nine and you love, you love football, yeah? yeah? Who took us to his house. Can you do your homework in here? Yes. Before Mary's Meals came, he didn't have breakfast, no meal at night, and very often didn't have lunch either. I want to eat Mary's Meals for the FIFA. You like going to school, yeah? Yes, I love going to school. Yeah, why? I want to be our senator. I want to be our representative, president. What would you do? I want to help my nation mm -hmm. and help my people. So you're like the next president of Liberia? Yes. <laughs> so, we, so we better be nice to you then. The ripple effect. Mary's Meals helps them and you feel that they in turn want to help themselves and help others. What would you do in the morning? Oh, water. You go to get the water? Yes. How far is that? 10 minutes walk. Can you put your back in there? A bit of water. You feel sick, though. You feel six buckets every morning. Are you going to take oh, a big one? That's heavy. You're not going to take that. Well, what happened? Okay. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Can you balance it? I'm coming, Sunday boy. Stop heavy. Why is all my water coming out? Feels nice, though. I mean, Magnus trying to carry that water in my head. It just shows you the things that you take for granted. <laughs> okay, I'm out of here. I brought you some water. Oh, not much wasted. Not a drop. <laughs> <laughs> The light and spirit in their eyes. My name is Jerry. Hey. Hey, Jerry. Yeah. So you like going to school here? I wonder if I would have that same spirit if I'd been through what they'd been through. What would you like to be? Be a doctor. A, an actor? Yes, a doctor. Oh, a doctor? Yes. Okay, yeah. You don't be an actor. Why do you want to be a doctor? It's because I want to save our people from death. When you sit down and you speak with them, they have such horror stories. What happened to your family? Of course, came to Liberia in 97 during the war. We were sending them emergency aid. The rebel kept our area. They crushed my mother. They beat her. She was bleeding and they killed her. My father, he see that he ran away. I miss them so much. Peace came and we helped them rebuild their homes, rebuild their schools, start farming again. And then in time, the Mary's Meals campaign was born. Here now, some children in the morning, they don't have no breakfast, no food. They can't be happy. But because of Mary's Miss, they are happy to come to school. The enrollment in schools has increased by over 40% since we started serving the meals. One, two, three, yeah! See you. It's been an incredible few days here just watching Jerry in, in action. There's a lot of little moments like that where you sat with the child and they just gave you their full everything. I saw the kids in the schools just responding to him in a way that I've never seen before. It's my name? Yeah, it's your name. Oh. Wow, this really has an impact on people's yeah. lives. A basic education for all is the key to lifting the world's poorest communities out of poverty. What's your favourite lesson? I love reading. Reading? Yeah, so do I. Forty-five. OK. Somebody else. I hated going to school. They had to make me go to school. Here, you feel like they're hungry to, to learn. Thank you. Thank you to me. <laughs> <laughs> I do have a kind of constant sense of, like, awe about it. It's beautiful. Every meal is a piece of charity and a little piece of love. And that all passes down into the families, into the community, and that sense of hope. You know, and it's the difference between a kid saying, I want to survive tomorrow, and I want to be a doctor. Maybe one day we'll play football together. Yes. Or we'll be in movies together. Yes. Yeah? It'll be good. Yeah. I think you're my new best friend. Yeah, it's my best friend too. <laughs> oh my God. It hit me from so many different angles, and emotional, spiritual, <laughs> physical. I've never danced this much in my life. If you ever question the appreciation of the people, here's your answer right here. This is Mary's Meal. Today we're feeding 460,000 children. The number's gone up. 526,000. 730,000. Groups of people in various parts of the world fundraise to support one particular school. 
There's this amazing group in Iowa and they have this t-shirt that says, love reaches everywhere. Mary's Meals can reach everywhere that there's a hungry child. It's beautiful to connect with kids on the other side of the world. I, I believe truly we need each other. We have a Mary's Meals run walk where we have had over 700 participants. We have fed over 15,000 children. I'm happy to be able to announce Mary's Meals is now feeding 1 million children. Over 1.2 million. 1 million 130,171 children every day. I love the one at the end of that number. You know, it doesn't matter how big that number gets, it keeps growing. It's about individual children. C'est pas tout bagaille ou qu'on fait pour nous expliquer. C'est pas tout ça ou fait tout qui mérite pour cacher. C'est pas tout ça ou t'en déyant créole ou comprendre. It was just a wonderful surprise when he phoned me a few weeks ago and said, Can we do another trip? For some time he's been hoping to do this with us and his life's just so busy. I make movies, I produce movies, so I'm always working on that. This is Sparta! Whenever I go off and do something different, something's about it giving in any way or thinking of others, I, I really, I get a lot out of it. He felt this need to go back out and he ended up going to Haiti. There's been quite a lot of unrest here and certain places we can't go because of the, the situation. And in a way that kind of confirms that we should be here because, because that's part of our mission. We always want to reach the places where life is most difficult for children, where people are suffering the most. And of course that's going to bring us into environments where things can be a little bit chaotic. The demonstrations, the riots, the deposing of presidents, Mary's meals, it bypasses all of that. It's just right in, right to the school. We're going to go and feed this school and this school and this school. Hi, Victoria. How are you? Alex, how are you? <laughs> Good. Thank you for hosting us all. Oh. We know there's a lot of it. Marie Flora is just one of these just enormous characters. Hi. Just this love that comes out of her. You just know that she really, really loves the children. Having Mary Mills come. That makes a huge difference. Our work with Marie Flo and the team here is a great example of, of how everything we do is rooted in partnership. We couldn't do this work if there weren't people like her building and running uh, schools to which children can come. An educated class of people are far less likely to riot. It was something that Marie Flo from here, from Summit, was talking about. We want to have a new class of Haitians that are not divided. First school visit of the trip here in uh, Mirabele. It's a school where the children eat Mary's meals. They just started getting Mary's meals a few months ago, so it'll be great to go and see them and start to talk to them about this idea of a nativity play. The nat <laughs> well, the nativity was funny because, like, what am I doing? He said, You're going to direct these kids in the nativity play. And I'm like, Well, that's great if we have a bit of time, but we get there and there's no costumes, no nothing, so we're really starting from scratch. The nativity play was one of those ones that sounded like a great idea when we started talking about it. How do we start this? What happens? Like, as if they're seeing something. These kids can't understand me. How do you say surprised? I'm also part of the production team here. This is really not my talent. The wings are failing. Just getting them to speak up. I can hardly hear them. Like this. Please. We have one more um, wise person. Does he want to be Joseph? I don't know what to do with the sheep. We hopefully have a donkey. I'm losing my mind. I, I did start thinking, I think we're just a bit crazy here. And then suddenly one thing happens. And they're like, what? <laughs> And then they laugh, and then they all laugh, and suddenly you go, oh, it just was a little key to open that door. There are sheep seeing an angel. <laughs> the strangest thing they've ever seen. <laughs> and then when that door's open, they are magnificent and give you so much more than you give them. C'est <laughs> bon. <laughs> we have our sheep. They surprise you with you know, what they can pull out of the bag their ingenuity of how they have to make the most of what little they have. Nobody ever came to me to make costumes, let me take that. Coat hangers for the angel's wings. Where are the sheep? And we're putting mop heads on them. Oh, she's so beautiful. And suddenly you look, this looks like a proper play. 
look like a wise man, and you look like a wise woman. It's the wise people. You're a beautiful sheep. He's been traveling for days. You have no food. Check on your wife. Look around. Knock on the door. And you step out of the door. Or maybe you go. You don't know him, and he's asking to stay in your house. Try it like this. Really, raise your voice so we can hear you at the back. Make two big moves. You go, what is this energy I'm feeling? You know, and it's the energy of community and life and helping each other. And that's what Mary's Meals encourages. It was the first time he'd been around us and we'd go back to his house and he was very shy. She had a she has kids from her other sisters. Okay, okay. And you're looking after all of them? They don't have mothers, they don't have fathers. How, how many children? Combien de monde peut occuper en tout? Sept. Seven. His dad died in a motorcycle accident. Si m'ba yon ba, le matin m'kon pa gen kop pou m'ba yo, pou yo manje le kola m'kot an pil, peske je sa, m'kon choisi fe m'remesse mon an pil. Mette confiance mon an bon dje, so Paul wants to be a doctor, the others want to be a nurse, one of them wants to be a lawyer. So she really knows, she thinks that there will be someone tomorrow. You're in the school nativity play. What role do you play? Somebody told me that here, when you're not at school, that you're also a shepherd, you go out into the, into the field. My pleasure. You're a good man. He's a handsome man as well. Mary's Mills, they come in and say, you got to help us with the distribution, with the delivery, and make this a community. You know, everybody get involved. So. 65,000 volunteers, and everyone has a story. This is a guy who, when he came down to pick up the food, he was wearing his best clothes, his best shirt. When he founded that, I'm like crying to say this, he didn't even have an education himself, and he founded that school. Then he went to that school to study so he could become literate, and then he became the principal of that school. And he just cared so much about this education. You sure we have to do this? <laughs> I don't know how many seconds it was help right now. It's warm. It's a isn't it? bit of a hill. <laughs> Just generally having a laugh at each other about struggling to get up that hill while all those amazing volunteers were just zooming up without any effort at all, it seemed. There's three hills and we're approaching the summit of the first hill, which is probably the largest of the three. It's well, it's such magnificent views, it's a real privilege to be able to do it. Do they ever think about the people who contribute abroad? Do they ever imagine who provides? Why do they do it? <laughs> what she said. I have been praying Mary Fro for this, for that, for whatever they need in their school, and bim, one day, Mary Mills is coming. It's God's work. God sent you to do what you are doing. You know? Yes. That's the way it is. I believe you. You're very convincing as yes. well. They really want yeah. to yeah. thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's never hard. Education mette me dans un rang social qui me pas mérité dans côté me sorti dans lieu ici. Ça fait mon bail éducation, donc priorité et éducation c'est un besoin. À parler de nous et Timoun yo gagne là dans surtout en troisième cycle qui les ouvre la caillou yo dit t'a rien mais venir monde tant pour directeur pour communauté 
Et l'école là, c'est œuvre, c'est c'est un monument célèbre, c'est célèbre, c'est un saut ineffaçable dans la communauté. I never ever tire of coming somewhere where children are eating Mary's meals and just meeting them. I'm inspired by the genius behind it and how it promotes responsibility in everybody. I know there's a question in people's minds sometimes when they give a donation, does it really get there or does it really make any difference? And you come here and you see that, that it does, definitely does. Here's the crazy thing. Before lunch, they were sweet, quiet and couldn't really get them to talk and it was hard to get them to play. The second they ate, they just came to life. Suddenly I've got 40 kids, 50 kids mimicking me in everything. I had already been walking around the corner and going, do you see what happens after a simple meal? It's great to give to your friends and to give to your family, but to give to strangers, you know, people that you don't know, the value in that, I feel like you, you get that back tenfold. All these people, different parts of the world, doing things that make this possible. The vast majority of them never have this privilege of, of coming here and, and, you know, sharing this moment with the kids eating. This is what it's all about. Did you know Mary's Meals feeds 1.3 million kids a day? 1.3 million kids a day? How can we help? Hello, how Hi. are you guys doing? Good. What's your name? Julia. Hey, I'm Jerry. Yes. What's your name? Benjamin. Benjamin. Yeah? You're Benjamin. I saw you on the video. You're very funny. <laughs> <laughs> and yours? I'm Gloria. Hey, Gloria. How are you? Good. You guys are incredible what you're doing. What is this exactly? We want those kids to smile. Our goal is to get $300. So the names here are the people who gave money. What you're going to have to do is pay $1. OK. All right. <laughs> we'll give you a block to write your name on. Write your art. Right. <laughs> right on top. One kid, $20. That's a whole school year. The work that you guys have done going to feed how many kids? Ten kids. Ten kids? Yes. For a year? Yeah. This little amount of money that you've raised is so much. Mary's Meals will help children in 17 countries to feed them and to make their stomachs full. You imagine their lives and them going to school and them being hungry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what do you think about that? If she doesn't eat before she starts school, she's, she's like, <laughs> Right, right. Me too, by the way. Your donation will make a really really big impact. <laughs> and you're just going to keep building it? Why no, we're going to take it, it to you. Yeah, so they you can take it to the children in Haiti. They can see all the names of all the people. Yeah. So we're we'll giving money to and we're donating. And I'm going to meet these kids. So any messages that you would like me to pass to them? Follow your dreams. Follow your dreams. Never give up. Follow your dreams and never give up. Can you floss? Look, you go that and then that. That? You keep going on both sides. You're doing it. Is that it? Yep. Oh yeah, I can floss. I thought you wanted me to actually get some tooth floss out. I'm lucky enough to come here and experience it. I get to, to see the great work that everybody else who gets involved gives. Yeah! It's crazy how if you give them the opportunity, they will make things work. And the school's bus link, it's increased its enrollment to 20, 25% in the last six months. And there's this little kid, and you can tell he's an amazing kid, and he's deep and soulful. So this is Whistler and baby Victoria. His mother said, if you're coming to school, then you got to bring your sister because they have to go and work in the fields. So this kid carries his one-year-old sister everywhere. My name is Whistler. My name is Whistler. My scientifique is Whistler. My name 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 is Whistler. Parce que 
but he doesn't smile much. And he doesn't smile in a way that he's not miserable. He's so gentle looking, just always looking after his sister and he just takes that job very seriously. And we were all playing and we really got him smiling. My first one is good, it's the school. The second one is good, and it's to eat and eat. The third one is good, it's because I have to eat well. You are interested in the school, you are interested in the school, and you are interested in the school every day. Whistler's performance is really great, and it's a great opportunity. It's a great opportunity. Mr. Dickens, it's a great opportunity, it's a great opportunity, or a great un docteur pour t'aider les gens dans la communauté, à mes rêves, c'est pour venir travailler dans la communauté. Il y a un exemple d'une personne et de combien il veut venir à l'école et ce qu'il va faire pour te venir. Tu es reminded de tous ces héros qui sont ici, qui font toutes ces choses chaque jour que ils ne peuvent jamais donner de merci. Joyeux anniversaire avec tous les héros qui sont ici. Et les quatre ans! We love you. I'll take we it. Love you. I'll take it. These kids are amazing. So I thought, okay, we're going to go back today. They'll have rehearsed it some, but it's going to be pretty awful, which is fine. You know, it was going to be charming. I remember waiting for my nativity play, and it was like took forever, forever. They had a curtain in front. Suddenly it had a whole different atmosphere. I got quite excited. What? Adam, that we? Madam, we're gonna push it. Talala, let's go back to the hotel. It was incredible. I don't have anywhere to go. No, pack it last. Hotel with plenty of shops. You're about to manger. Merci, merci. I just want to thank Mary, the mother of Jesus, uh, who brought up a child in poverty, who knew what it was to be exiled, uh, to thank her for her uh, inspiration and, and love. Thank you. It was really, really special. I loved it. It was way more than charming. I mean, it was really touching. Galveri made his meals, actually, in a, in a lot of ways. We've come to a school here that doesn't have Mary's meals. The kids don't get to eat when they come to school. So what's it like when they haven't been reached yet? And they lost their feeding program. And he said since then, the enrollment has gone way down. Tout le temps, c'est vent fait mal. C'est presque sommeil. On ne peut pas garder les appels en vent fait mal. C'est ça que nous disons. A lot of those kids don't eat in the morning. A lot of those kids don't eat at night. There's about one in four children in Haiti today out of school. They haven't been to school in two years. Are they sad they're not going to school now? They're surrounded by all their friends. Le mois de octobre, là, les tout petits monde pour aller à l'école. Ça, ils ont même dit, oui, maman, vous aimez l'école, vous allez à l'école. Ils ont dit, bon, nous, on va pas aller. La bijouterie, nous. That little boy, William, he's waiting for me his meals to come to his school. Oui, tu m'as pas, tu m'as toujours vu l'école, oui. Et tu m'as moins ça à venir baisser, tu viens pas à venir l'école. Je vois que je m'en vais venir. Parce que depuis au venir, bah il met la problème là. Ce soir qu'elle voit et nous nous la cale là pour nous venir prendre. Là nous venir prendre nous même non mais. I came from a family with not a lot of money, but we could always eat. So just when you're faced with that reality and you see it in front of you that these kids literally sometimes don't eat for the first day or two days. When I said to her, what do you fear? What's, What's your biggest, biggest fear? fear? And I thought I'd maybe get a standard answer. It's like, I fear no food. She said, I don't fear anything because I trust in God. And that's what you see in these kids. So even though they are struggling and they aren't eating, they still had an awesome little presence. Haiti needs every one of those children in school learning. They're, they're, they're the hope. If the number came back up again, if we were able to provide meals here, that you would be able to cope with that in terms of teaching. Vraiment, mm place you là. Professeur déjà là tout. Ben yo, c'est ouais ça. C'est des professeurs de bonne volonté. Moi, docteur, nous beaucoup de rien avec. Mais on continue à venir. 
a lot of the schools around have closed because of all these issues and the social unrest. We take risk, we pull on the job. We do our work, we do our work, we do our work, we do our work, we don't stop. All these problems we see around us very, very clearly these days, in particular with all the political unrest and the injustice in this country. But we need those kids to be in school and to be the, the leaders of tomorrow. It nous fait un pile motivation pour you. Son exemple y a bien quelque soit à côté au passé. Son exemple y a bien. It's like his little army just trying to help them to get through this tough world that they live in. To remind them that people care about them and to remind them to focus. Beautiful to listen to him to see how much he cares and what a great job he's doing in very difficult circumstances. Qui te choisit pour me décaler parce que nous avons passé mes élèves longtemps dans l'œuvre de bienfaisance ça y est. C'est pas que nous gagnons pas des moyens du tout, mais moi de bon Dieu force courage par la foi de Job que l'école là nous campe. It's amazing. It's just kind of it's very heartwarming to see. I make movies about heroes, but often they're in bigger, over-the-top settings, you know. And then you come here and you see there's a hero right there. The teachers in the school are heroes. The kids are all heroes that come here on empty stomachs every day to try and get an education. I love to just describe me as meals as a series of lots and lots of little acts of love. from the women here that volunteer through to people who organize fundraising events. Just finished the Mary's Meals 10K. People who donate so that we can buy the food. The shirts sold, the money goes directly to Mary's Meals and it directly feeds kids. There's so many different ways that people can get involved and, and we want more and more people to get involved so that we can feed those children who are waiting. Parce que après année à tes presque sans ces films passés, il était désespoir totalement. I remember him talking about the difference between the schools where they were getting Mary's meals and this school where they were. Yeah, I'm personally going to sponsor this school. I don't know if he told me that he was actually funding a school. Gale, bon Dieu vient parler dans le cœur, il vient voir le vin. Premier jour ça, pour les vieux, c'était un miracle qui était opéré dans l'école là. Là nous vient des bagages au vin, nous avons un petit gros gras qui descend sous la terre. Nous même grand monde nous pas gain résistance, mais petit petit pas gain résistance. Et puis tout le monde on a parlé de cantine, 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 la venir quand même, la venir quand même, mais pas de quoi. Mais les premiers jours à arriver, nous commençons à la cantine. Tout élève était content. Il a été dit comment il y a dans le chou. Même à certifier CV. Effectivement, les gens ont mangé vrai. Donc là, ils ont dit Oui, c'est moi qui ai mangé là, vrai, monsieur. C'est pour mon Dieu toujours vu que j'ai gardé mon cap pour la cantine. Pour toujours qu'il y ait la cantine pour les gens avec les gens. Quand il y a des gens qui viennent commencer à venir à l'école, ils vont paquer jusqu'à présent pour que j'en vienne. Je suis venu à l'école pour que je vienne à l'école. Je suis venu 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 à l'école pour manger.
Thank you.